Recovery has taken off from Cape Canaveral after a delay of one hour caused by bad weather. During its first 24 hours in orbit, Discovery will launch two communication satellites. Then its crew of seven, which for the first time includes an American senator, will concentrate on scientific experiments. Our air correspondent Christopher Wayne watched this afternoon's launch. As shuttle missions go, Flight 51D is fairly routine. Five days and 78 orbits, a crew of six men and one woman. But one of those passengers now has his name in America's political history books. Second payload specialist Jake Garn, better known as the senior senator from Utah and chairman of the Senate committee which provides the money for NASA. So ignoring the envy of his friends and the bitterness of his opponents, he climbed aboard and was strapped down ready for blast off. The weather was bad, but five minutes into the second launch window, Discovery lifted off. Lift off of mission 51D and the seven-member crew of Discovery. On board the shuttle in the hold are two satellites, a Canadian one for communications and another that's been leased by the American Defense Department. But once they've been launched, the crew will concentrate on numerous experiments, including Senator Garn. His contribution to space medicine includes suffering from space sickness, symptoms which will be closely monitored. Like all astronauts, he's already been trained in the sensation of weightlessness, but experience has shown that few humans can go into space for long periods without suffering from motion sickness. But for Senator Garn, it's a small price to pay. And for NASA, it should win an influential and knowledgeable friend at court. Tomorrow, health experts.